hello guys welcome to my channel uh, my name is Ali Reza. I'm going to show you how to analyze the uh, Autodeck Vina <coughs> result by I'm sorry by using the UCSF Chimera version 1.10 and I think it's the last version released but I don't know um, here is my directory and the uh, local docking result this is my receptor and this is the heat I have found it by during the docking I triple the screen by uh, Paddle ADV. Uh, I have a video on Paddle, video on Paddle ADV for, uh, for high throughput screening by Autodeck Vina. You can check that out. Okay, I am going to take the PDB file of my ligand here. Okay. UCSF Chimera does not support PDBQT file format, therefore, I need to convert my receptor by open bubble. Uh, simply you can drag and drop the pdb file here and I'm going to name it receptor.pdb I don't know just res <coughs> res for receptor okay click convert there's no need to change any item here use the default setting okay let's open the chimera borrows okay that's uh yeah, we need to open both file receptor and ligand at once yeah. okay now i'm going to open ligand <coughs> that pdb file okay as you can see the ligand is here okay now we need to uh when you are going to focus on your um suitable position you want to see uh, you need to uh, press Ctrl key and then uh, right click to change your view. Okay, I'm going to focus in here and then going to zoom in. Uh, from the tools menu, uh, go to the structure analysis and find clashes and contact. Here we need to define uh, the ligand uh, atoms and the second model. The, uh, the ligand is interacted with here is the or protein as a receptor oh. no uh, from the select chain choose no id it's our ligand as you can see it's highlighted and we can see it is selected no designated it says that we have uh, selected 20, 20 atoms as our ligands in the uh, first box here now we are going to uh, invert the selection by clicking invert selection uh, I am going to select all other molecules than uh, ligands okay as you can see the ligand is deselected now I am going to designate my receptors atoms as a second model uh, it contains 9031 atoms uh, in the second part of the find and clash and contact tools uh, we are going to define the parameters for analyzes the contact uh, as the if you if you simply choose this uh, option here it has a, a predefined criteria i am going to select contact and contacts and make it as uh, 0.1 okay the other uh, the other options just uh, it's good to be as default just uh, remember to click and check this box write information into a file so uh, if there is if there are any uh, contacts in the range of 0.1 on this room uh, the software is going to save it into a file that uh, then you can check it by a text uh, editable files in table softwares i am going to okay okay a pop-up a pop-up windows is now open and ask us to save the file i am going to save my overlap file into the same directory okay and uh, before doing any changes here let's see okay we have a sudo uh, bonds with uh, okay as you can see the amino acid uh, residues involving the interaction with our ligands is highlighted in green and Zudo bonds are also uh, shown in the green lines. Okay, 
Here I can do several things, but before that, I'm going to show you how to check our uh, interactive residues in the overlap file. Okay, I'm going to open it with editable notepad plus plus. As you can see, the atom one and atom two defines both ligands and our protein. Okay. Um, and you can see the atoms involved in the interaction carbon one in our ligand with uh, oxygen group uh, number two of uh, aspartic acid, I think, or uh, carbon number one with arginine amino group, uh, and otherwise hydrogen uh, may provide us a hydrogen bond, uh, like what we see here in our arginine. Uh, 836 <clears throat> at the distance of 1.2 angstrom. Okay, uh, this one can be used for uh, writing down our results. Uh, in another way, we can do this. I'm going to show you how to uh, show the amino acid residues in, uh, involved in the interaction with our ligands by using uh, action label. Uh, we should only do this when uh, we know that the interactive residues of our receptor is highlighted in green. Uh, we are going to select actions, label, residues, and name specifier. Name specifier provides the amino acid residues name, uh, its corresponding uh, position, 832. Uh, point A uh, implicates chain. Chain A, but we do not know, we do not want this in our uh, figure. I'm going to uh, label option, uh, not label option, label residue costume. I'm going to uh, remove the residue label. I'm going by want name and number. Going to apply, and as you can see, uh, proline A32 with a dash, with a uh, dot, and any other chain name that's okay but here there is something uh, we should remove from our ligand it's a rig, uh, ligand uh, identifier UNL1 and I'm going to select chain my ligand and I'm going to action label residue and turn it off okay that's fine uh, now we know that there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 amino acid residues uh, in the uh, 0.1 angstrom distance from our ligands. Okay. Uh, now, for demonstrating or taking pictures of this uh, view, I'm going to do some modifications in the UCSF Chimera Lab software. Okay. At the first, I'm going to select chain the receptor and I'm going to change it to the change its color to rainbow uh, I'm going to use the default okay as you can see the uh, background is in uh, black which is not good I'm going to use uh, presets in uh, within the software preset one okay that's not bad but as you can see we cannot uh, distinguish per, uh, side chains uh, color with uh, uh, the residue labels they both are in orange or something very similar uh, let's change the color from the action color and all options okay from all options I check residue labels and turn it to black Okay. As you can see, the labels turned into the black and very distinguished from our ligands and amino acid residues. That's very good. Okay. In the next step, I'm going to open another receptor file. Res.pdb. Uh, no change can be seen in here because they are fully overlaps as the uh, coordinations are the same. But here in the chain, we can see we have two PDB files. I'm going to 
select second receptor or the first one and in the action menu surface we can show the second receptor in a surface so we can see the exact uh, site type for uh, ligands in the receptor okay the quality is not very good okay now we can do something in the action menu surface while we are selected uh, the second receptor and transparency i'm going to change it to 80 percent transparency transparency okay Okay, this is not very bad. Okay, so we can uh, see where the ligand resides into the uh, within the receptors, groves. The amino acid residues involved in the interaction are quite visible. Visible. I think this view is not bad. Okay. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to save this uh, view as a figure with uh, TIFF format. I can select any other uh, format supported by the UCSF camera. You can name it, uh, name it whatever you want in your directory or somewhere else and uh, don't for, do not forget to check this transparent background and also define your uh, resolution I'm going to check it at uh, 300 then uh, click save it will take a few seconds to render the high resolution file we wait to see what's going on and what's happened okay now I'm going to close the windows and open the image <laughs> as you can see the image we took is more uh, it has a higher quality than we had than what we had in uh, when we saw the software were opened uh, the ligand position in the group growth of the receptor is quite understandable and the residues involved in the interaction is also uh, demonstrated and we also have uh, a knowledge about the uh, amino acid residues in the helix or beta sheets uh, which are involved in the interaction it gives us a quite view to what we need to say or what we can say in the manuscript uh, some other modification can be done some other modification can be done by knowing the structure of the protein like uh, what motif it has what uh, kind of residues are important in the protein and we can highlight them in the uh, surface model of the protein by different colors in the manuscript okay uh, i hope you enjoyed the video i'm going to finish it in here if you had any comments or uh, we are very glad to see it in the comment section. Thank you so much. Have a good day.